Hi everyone, um, I'm Miles Patroi, working as an electrical engineer at LH Industries. So today I brought you our own patented power over fiber system. So as you can see over here, you have your transmitting unit over here, and three fibers are connected through this 500 feet cable and connected to our own our receiver card over here, placed in the card housing. And I can just take it out to just, just show you over here too. And you have your output voltage coming out connected to our own contact closure system over here. Alright, so over here you have your DC power supply and which is connected to your transmitter unit over here. So you have to hook up all the fiber at first before turning it on. So over here you have three cable, three fiber cable connected through a 500 feet cable and then connected to your receiver side. So you might be wondering why there are three, la three fiber cable used when you have only two lasers. So two lasers are used to transmit the power, but the third fiber cable is used to receive the feedback from the receiver side if there's any fault or anything, any such scenarios that can occur, it will send back to your display over here. Now let's turn this unit up. So now I have your power supply over here. I'm going to turn it on where I've set at 29.5, around 30 volts over here. So my power is hooked on over here. Another thing about this unit is it's polarity insensitive. So plus and minus doesn't matter over here. So I'm going to turn this unit up. Over here, as you can see, the on and up switch, and you can see the power LED is on, which is blue. And in this system, we have two lasers in build, so right now the LED is indicating on the transmit side as it is transmitting to our receiver side, and LED indicator showing transmit on laser one and two. And another important thing is alarm. So alarm depends upon your your receiver side if there's any fault on the other side or not. And using this toggle switch, you can have different display where it's displaying the temperature of the laser, 1 and 2, 81 Fahrenheit, 81 Fahrenheit. And another thing, you can also see what is the output voltage on your receiver side. Coming at this side now, we have your RX card over here. Now I connected this RX card to our own contact closure system over here and also using a multimeter I'm showing what voltage you're going to see on this side so I'm seeing 26.71 volts on this side we are using PUF system to eliminate copper running through high voltage and those lightning prone environments because you have to avoid coppers you can damage your PLCs or whatever system you're running at that point